This four minutes will now and be 50 recorded. Second, once you started to ask me about colonoscopy, yeah, let's start. Okay, Mr. Mook, uh, did you have any idea about about colonoscopy? No, doctor. What colonoscopy, doctor? Actually, it is an. Doctor Amar Sonki, continue the time. Yes, yes, I am. Actually, okay. actually, what about an, uh, actually, it is a procedure which we do with uh, a tube-like camera to see any pathology or anything uh, to see anything uh, in uh, if there is any disease or anything you are having in your uh, bowel. My bowel. So you're gonna go with something through my back passage. Yes, there is. Uh, it is a tube-like camera. Uh, did you hear about it before? No. But I don't want anything to go through my back passage, doctor. Uh, 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 that sounds very difficult and very painful. Okay, uh, actually, uh, Mr. Mo, it is. I know it is very uh, painful and uh, you are not comfortable with it. But it is very necessary to do this test. Uh, to know, no, from doctor, I don't want, I don't want this, I don't want anything through my back passage, Mr. Mo. I really, uh, uh, I'm, I'm really sorry if it sounds uh, uh, bad to you, but I just want to tell you about the procedure. If you're not okay with it, then uh, we will see what we will do. Uh, do you want to know anything more about this? No, doctor, this is more than enough. He told me that something will go through my back passage and I will not allow anything to go through my back passage, doctor. No. Two minutes. Mo, That's Mo, more than Mo, enough. I don't want, I don't want, I don't want any procedure through my back passage, doctor. Uh, I'm really sorry uh, if, it is, uh, if you're not okay with it, but uh, it is very necessary to see from, ex from where exactly you are bleeding because if you beat, uh, uh, if you beat again, it is very uh, dangerous for your health and for you. And uh, you might get, I'm really sorry, if uh, you're not comfortable with it. Mr. Mo, you're not comfortable with it. Uh, Mr. Mo, can you talk? Are you comfortable about it to talk about it? No, doctor. No, I don't want to have anything from my back passage. Okay, I'm really sorry that you are not comfortable with this. But I, can you please talk to me why you are not comfortable with it? What concerns you are having? Mr. Mo, uh, may I know why you are... I'm really sorry. If... Mr. Mo, can I uh, can you talk about yes. this more? No, I okay don't want to talk about it because it brings bad memories. What uh, what memories, Mr. Mo? Can you please tell me so I can uh, so I can better uh, I can understand it better that why you are shy to this and why you are not comfortable with the procedure. 20, 20 years back, I had a problem with my bowel, and they did okay. something called, called sigmoidoscopy, and okay. it was very painful, and I was bleeding for a while, doctor. I don't want to have this, doctor. I'm really sorry, Mr. Mo, uh, that uh, you, uh, that it happened to you, but uh, it is it, uh, this is not the case always. Time is up. Sometimes Sometimes uh, we had the uh, sometimes sometimes these these have this happen, but this is not the case in all ways. What do you mean, doctor? It's not the case, doctor. Do you mean, doctor, that it might not be painful this time? Oh, doctor, uh, it was yes, very um, terrible, doctor. I was having pain and bleeding for about one week after the procedure, doctor. I don't want to have this again. Okay, Mr. Uh, Mr. Mo, if you want it. Then we will we will also do it, and uh, pain, we will give you some painkillers for this. Are you comfortable? Okay, I give her some time extra because of. Okay, now. 
Number one mistake she made, which we all make, Number one mistake she made, and she all make, and we all make, okay, is one second. She started the station very late. She started what? The station very late. What did the station say? What did the question say, guys? Please, it's a very important prop. It's a very important uh, point that you need to catch. Starting the station early. What do you mean starting the station early? You are here talking about refusal structure. I am now going to discuss refusal structure. A patient who is refusing. Okay. One second, guys. Uh, 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 uh. So, is the fact that what is the purpose of the station? That's what we miss. So, the purpose of the station is the sentence, the last sentence in the question. So, when you are at the door in the cubicle, please listen carefully. When you are at the door in the cubicle, you will always see, you will always see something called what you must do. What does that mean? That's in the question. So, in the question, you will see the phrase what you must do do okay what you must do once you see this phrase what you must do that's your question that what you should do after a maximum one minute from the question what do you mean by that so always they will tell you the question will be built like this who you are you are an fy2 doctor in the medicine department where medicine department who your patient is that's the question yeah at the door your patient is mr most of bleeding uh, rectum and what you know the story what you must do or your task is go and speak to your patient about colonoscopy so what is the task so please there is no need of five minutes how is your diet do you do any form of exercise do you smoke no, 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 no. I want to ask you for a small favor, Dr. Am. Small favor. One second, guys, yeah? Sorry. So, so I will take advantage and tell you here, I will take advantage and tell you here, when they say your task is such, by the way, this is in every station. This is not just here. You know that you will start this after one minute. So the one minute will be rapport and recapping. What do you mean, Dr. Mo? So in this station, I told you your task is what? Go and talk to your patient about what? Colonoscopy. By the way, she did not do her task because she was eating quite quickly, quickly. She did not explain anything. She did not have time for me to refuse and for her to address. You understand me? So please, what is the most important thing you will 
look at in the exam. Your task is, your task is, what you must do is, if the question said what you must do, examine your patient. So you know it's an examination station. I will take five minute examination. If the task said, talk to him about colonoscopy station. If the task say, talk to him about whatever task says, that's what my task is. I should start as quick. So in this question, simply, is the patient stable? Yes. The question says he's stable. He's not. Blood transfusion was done. So I can see from my note, first of all, confirm my identity. She confirmed it late. And then I can see from my note that you came yesterday, Mr. Andrew. And I'm sorry. It's written that you fainted. I'm sorry. Why I'm sorry? Because you are sorry. Yes, doctor. How do you feel now? Did you hurt yourself? Is everything all right? Guys, can you see what I'm talking about now? Yes, doctor. Well, it's mentioned that blood transfusion was done for you. How do you feel? Do you feel dizzy? Are you okay? Yes, doctor. Well, Mr. Andrew, it's mentioned that you were bleeding or you had bleeding from the back passage. Yes. My con then look, look, my consultant sent to me to talk to you about a procedure in order to get to the reason why you are having this problem. And then let's start. Then, then you have seven minutes to say it's a camera test. And you understand, guys, if you go to my video, it's a refusal structure video. And the notes is refusal structure notes. It's in the video and note. But I'm here not to explain the course, to tell you the approach and to focus on two problems that you make. So his diet, his exercise, uh, it's not really important for me. What is important for me in this station? Write down. Number one, explain in details about the procedure that I'm asked to come and talk to you about colonoscopy. Have you heard about it? No, doctor. Then explain in detail. It is a camera test. Flex, by the way, all what I'm going to say in the notes and in the video. Flexible to you. Will go from the back passage into your colon. Did you ask him to ring Dr. Amri? Yeah? Yes. Yeah. Thank you very much. I love you, Allah Azim. From the left ventricle. <laughs> so it's, and there is a camera on top of it and a source of light to visualize the entire of your call. So explain in details, take your time, you've got seven minutes. After explaining about it, oh. the patient will have concerns. No doctor, I don't want it, doc. So once the patient said, I don't want, you have steps. Guys, for some reason, for some reason, for some reason, we all know when we are sitting outside here, listening to the video, if someone, if I said, I don't want to do this, everybody say to her, ask why, ask why. But when you are here, you don't. When you are doing the station with me, you forget. So please write down if any patient at any time refused something. If any patient at any time said, no, I don't want it. Please do not waste your time right away till why. But before you say why, try to acknowledge at the fact that he said, no, he said, I don't want. So always start with, definitely you have the right to refuse or accept your treatment or investigation. But may I ask why? What is the sign post? You have the right to refuse or accept any treatment. But may I ask why? To tell him, rest assured. I'm not going to do anything by force. You remember the station of the change of counselor? Yes. When she said, I want to change the counselor, I told you, everybody in, in, in the GMC will talk about something, but we will start by what? Definitely. Definitely. You can change the counselor, but may I ask why? So please, when you tell the patient who is refusing, don't before you say why, try to tell him. Definitely, you have the right to choose your, because guys, that will calm him down. Trust me. Why? Why? So does that mean doctor refusing or accepting my procedure depending on why? You understand? Depending on the reasons, are any are there are some reasons 
where you will so definitely you have the right to accept or refuse but may I ask why then he will tell you the reason the second line is addressing that reason the second line is working on solving the problem for example doctor i don't want to colonoscopy doctor why because it was very painful so what is the concept so what is the second line should the second line should have the word pain the second line is addressing his concern so the second line in which you will be talking about how would you make sure it's not so you will say look, look, look let's look at the way definitely i understand where you're coming from now yes pain pain is one of the things that the patient experienced after this procedure however we will make sure and then talk about the sedative um, we're gonna you're gonna gi be given sedative and you know it's gonna be numbing agent that you're not gonna feel it you understand so always the second line should talk about the pain okay no doctor i don't want to doctor i don't want it. after you talk about sedative are there any other concerns no doctor i just don't want it so the first the question why then he will give you a cause the second the addressing that cause the doctor did not address my cause i was saying pain and their answer was it's not gonna be painful not all people will feel pain no no it is painful so it's not by you saying it might not be painful it's by addressing the pain guys are you lost the third point if the patient still refuse write down risk and benefit write down the third is risk and benefit the third is risk and benefit is telling this patient about why would you do the procedure and what will happen if you don't do it why will you do the procedure which in brackets the what the benefits and what will happen if you don't do it which is what the risk so mr andrew do you know why we do we, we want to do this procedure no doctor to get to the source of the bleeding to exclude what we call it worst case scenario to make sure that you don't have something sinister doctor can i say this of course why are we doing the procedure in fact why are we doing it to exclude so tell him to exclude anything sinister doctor i still don't want it mr andrew do you know what will happen if you don't have it guys can you hear me if one doctor can hear me that means that everyone should hear can you hear yes me? Yes. 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 yes perfect you can text them on the chat box that we can hear. So anyway, so do you know what will happen if we don't have it? No, doctor. Well, if we don't have if you don't have this procedure, we may risk missing something sinister, which you can on the long term have. I'm afraid. Yeah, that circumstances. So that's what we call risk. And but guys, do you see how I drag things? Don't say, well, Mr. Andrew, there are too many risks and benefits. The benefit of losing it, one, two, three, four. The rest, no, 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 guys. Bing bong, Mr. Andrew. Do you know why we want to do this procedure? No, doctor. I'm going to stop. Would you like me to tell you? Yes, doctor. Bing bong, bing bong, boom, 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 boom. Then he will say, what, doctor? Well, the rest, the, the, the benefits are one, two, three, four. Doctor, I don't want to, Mr. Andrew, I totally appreciate your concern. As I mentioned to you, you have the right to repeat the procedure, but do you know what will happen if we don't do it? No, doctor. Boom, boom, boom. Scare him. Risk. Can, can one of the doctors tell me, tell me what is the meaning of risk and benefit in one word? Or mental you know, capacity. In, in, in two word thing. Mental, mental capacity. Our, so it's mental capacity. Mental capacity. Can I tell you something? Can I can I tell you something? Just a new station. I will make a new station now to show you that I can make it in the GMC. 90% will pass. Sorry, will fail. 10% will pass. Okay. I will have a patient who's refusing colonoscopy. Refusing what? Then I will talk to him. Yeah, brother, yeah, brother. Do you know why? He will say, doctor, because of the pain. Because of what? The pain. Then I will talk about the pain. Then when I start to ask him about the risk and benefit, he is not gaining the information. He's not retaining it. He doesn't know what's going on. What does that mean? No mental care. In this case, will he have the right to refuse? No. In this case, you would say, I'll talk to my senior. 
because I cannot decide if we can do it for you or not. يعني, you can, you are allowed to say that you don't know, but you are not allowed to say that, yes, it's okay for you not to have it. Because in that case, they told, they told the simulator, the simulator, one word, when he speaks to you, act dumb, act daft, act, act as if you don't understand what's happening. And that's it. He will show you that he doesn't understand what's happening. Everybody will follow the script, yeah? They will refuse, they will carry on, risk and benefit, and they're not gonna pick, they're not gonna pick the fact that he's not knowing what's, what are you saying. Then, hey, brother, well, you have the right to discharge against medical advice, but in fact, no. Because while you were talking to him, he showed you somehow learning disability, learning difficulty. He showed you somehow, he doesn't know what are you talking about. Do you understand what I'm saying? Or not? It's a new, sta new station. But it looks from outside what you know. But inside, when you go deep down, it doesn't look. Online doctors, do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, doctor. Doctor, like how, yeah. how would he not understand? Like, what nice, how would he? How would he? When I'm trying to say, well, the benefits is, the benefits is, we don't want to miss something sinister. This is the benefits that we don't want to. So do you know what the benefits are? No, he's not retaining. He's not retaining. He can gain the information and give it to you back. That's mental capacity. He doesn't know what's happening. He doesn't know what you're talking about, even though you're explaining. OK? OK, guys? Yes, I'm just okay. showing you. I'm just showing you that one word can, can make a new station, can make a new management, can make something else. Anyway, so if a patient is refusing, so what we learned here is number one, what is the first thing I learned from this station, which I'm sure 90% of us go wrong with it. Go for the task. Go for the task. Many doctors say, Dr. Mo, sorry. Why am I aggressive like this? What's up? Seriously. Sorry, so, seriously, nobody's, I don't know. I don't know. Doctor, I'm just like, I don't know. not aggressive. I cannot. The problem is, I swear to, I, I just want to be calm, but I can't. I'm just like, anyway, go with the task. The problem is that we I love your style. doctors who complain. Sorry? We like you this way, doctor. We like you this way. We love this style. You will not be Dr. Emma without this. Sorry? You you can't be Dr. Emo without this style. This is your uh, natural Emo? style. Oh, no. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Thank you. So, my point is, number one, today, I want to tell you, follow that task. Please, guys. Guys, 90% of you, you start the station itself very late. And they say, there is no time. We don't have, no, no, guys. You don't know the task. You should know. What you might do is, boom, this is my task. I should have started early. Trust me, they will never bring you a patient who is refusing something. And at the same station, you want to take full history. It doesn't work eight minutes. It doesn't work. They give, and then you, when you lose the station and it's, you say there is no time, we are giving you eight minutes to, to deal with a patient who is <clears throat> refusing. And that's it. This is the task. So start, please, with the task early. For example, Another station, six very common, very common station, 65 years old, Andrew Thompson. Look, he had MI three days ago. He was admitted. He was managed. Your consultant asked you to go and talk about lifestyle modification. Oxen Belah, one of the most common OSCE situations. Then people go and they take six minute history. Guys, what is the task? So your task is ask about this and manage this. That's it. Dr. Mobat, how can we start? One minute. One minute only. I can see from a minute that you've been admitted. I can see that you had a chest pain. Are you in pain now? Is it managed? Any concerns? No, doctor. When I've been asked to come here and talk to you about some lifestyle modification, because we don't want you to have this problem again. 
Do you know what MI is? No, doctor. MI, one, two, three, four. Do you know the causes? No, doctor. The causes, one, two, three, four. Diet, exercise, smoke, then move on to manage the session is finished. So it's not a station of... Yeah, did you have any chest pain three days back? Yes, doctor, I had a chest pain. Where is it? Here, doctor. Three days back, yeah? He's stable today. Did, look, look. Did it go to your left shoulder? Yes, doctor, it went to my left shoulder. <laughs> did it go to your jaw? Yes, doctor, it go to my jaw. Apart from this, been anything else? Yes, I had shortness of breath. He doesn't have anything, yeah, brother. He's fine. The patient is stable. Your job is lifestyle modification. So you're only going to use one minute as rapo, as, and with the Egyptian accent, rapo. As rapo, yeah? We're going to do one minute rapo. <laughs> you get me? So one minute rapo is just, I can see you've been admitted. How's everything? How's the stay? Is everything all right? Are you still in pain? No, doctor, I'm still not in pain. But if the patient says I'm still in pain, then you can ask, what is it? How is it? But the patient is pain free. The patient is stable. Why don't ask about the pain four days back? No. I hope things are making, you know, because you are going for the exam now and you have problem with time, but you don't know why. Why? Because you don't follow the task. In plan to exam, the task is clear. Go and talk about lifestyle. So your job is. But obviously, before you talk about lifestyle, you're going to have to explain what MI is and the reason why you have MI. And when you mention the reason why, it will be the risky factor, which is this. Okay? okay. Anyway, some doctor, uh, Dr. Yasmin, I've seen her comments. Dr. Saying, Mo, can I ask saying, you one thing? Can I just say this phrase? One of the doctors, Dr. Yasmin, she said, I've been in the course for two weeks and I don't understand what's happening. Dr. Yasmin, follow us. Whenever we put in the WhatsApp group that we have these topics, follow them, watch them, read the note, and attend the session. Okay. Dr. Yasmin, if you get lost, don't worry. We repeat all the sessions again for the new batches, and you are allowed to attend the new batches. So there will be, for example, February batch, where you will attend from the start again, build up. Don't worry. Just before we mention, whenever we mention, we're going to have a mock for these topics. Watch videos, the videos on the course about the topics, and then attend the session. And bit by bit, when you practice with the with doctors, it, I mean, two weeks is nothing. I mean, people here, they, uh, they joined a year ago. <laughs> two weeks is just nothing. Don't worry, yeah? Don't worry. It will come. And if there's still issue out within the next three to four weeks, contact me. Anyway, so my point is every station has a purpose. Purpose. Every station has a reason. And people, mashallah, we go. Do you want to ask everything in every station? No. Okay. So what is the most important line in the, in the paper? The task. Read it. And this is my task. I want to talk about this. But there is one minute has to be. Rabo. Okay. So one minute Rabo. And then you start your station. Always the introduction of the station. Yeah. Now. In this station. She showed off early. I told you how should you start. Yeah. I can see from my note, you've admitted for this, you've entered, you have blood, are you okay now? Yes, doctor, I'm okay. I've been asked to, to talk to you about. And that's, do you know what colonoscopy is? Can you, sorry, can you run? Do you know what colonoscopy is? This is the first question. Yes, no, I don't know. Then what is the second step? Explaining what colonoscopy is. When you explain it, he will say, he will say, no, I don't want it because he would not refuse it unless you explain. You see where I'm coming from? No, I don't want it, doctor. I don't want it. How do you, to, to reflect uh, for that? Sorry. Not why. Not why. Definitely you have the right to accept or please, guys. Yeah, this is our not why. Then why? But may I ask? But may I ask why? Elite. Well, doctor, because of pain. So the reason why is pain. The second line should reflect about what you're going to do for that pain. So, well, definitely, yes, pain is one of the things that people experience. However, we're going to deal with it by giving you sedative and this and that. Then, the third, doctor, I still don't want it. Okay. I've mentioned to you that it's one of the things that we will use and they'll tell him the benefits. By, by the way, I'm not just discussing gonoscopy. Guys, anything. Anything. Okay. So or if any such situation, you will deal with the same. Then the third step is benefits. Charger. Yeah, I got you. Know, do I have a charger? Is the iPhone? Yes. Yeah. So, so then when you deal with 
The third benefit, he's still refusing. Then risk, he's still refusing. If he's still refusing after risk and benefits, definitely what to do. Guys, you have to escalate. Senior must be involved before you send the patient. 100%. 100%. So you have to escalate. So step five, escalation to my senior. And if he still reject the charge against medical advice. But I told you, I gave you a small hint about the patient. If he doesn't have mental capacity, if he shows you that it will not like now we cannot say, OK, go home. OK, but so far. We have not seen that, but I'm just telling you. Definitely, yeah. Uh, for, but you are in the cubicle. You're not going to leave him go on the hallway and come back up. We can give you some time to think about it. Yes. 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 Yeah. Doctor Mo. Yes. Doctor Mo. I'm really sorry. Uh, in this station, if the patient accepted the colonoscopy, you stated in the history that he was talking. Well Perfect. Should... That's well done. That's a very good point. At the steps, if the patient accepts the colonoscopy. What is your history? Again, if the patient oh, accept the colonoscopy after three minutes, you've done your job. Yes, he's happy. What is the rest? How would you carry on? Start to take in history about what Dr. Mo, how much blood? <laughs> what is the color of blood? Does it make any difference? Again, the patient is going for a definitive diagnosis. The patient is going for a definitive investigation, colonoscopy. You understand? The consultant said he will have colonoscopy. He's going to have colonoscopy. The consultant said. So would it make any difference for you now, the amount of blood? Why? Because he's going for a procedure that will give a definitive diagnosis. So how, what, what should I ask then? Contraindications. So your history will be about the situation in which the patient is not going to have Colonoscopy. Uh, guys, are you lost? Contraindication, which is what? Guys, which is right down. You need to be organized all the time. Which is what? Which is medical condition, medication. Medical condition and you have to be organized. What do you mean? What medical condition will, inter will, will contradict this? Or what medication will contradict this? So, medical condition like prolapse? Yes? Yes or no? Yes. What else? Yes? So, medical condition prolapse, any fistula. What else? Blood thinners. This patient is on medication? An infection. Yeah, but this infection is not really, you know, so prolapse is more than enough. And this patient, if he's on blood thinner, this patient, if he has bleeding disorder, are you lost? So blood thinner, bleeding disorder, yes, in this case it will be done, but we will manage, we will we'll stop the warfarin for some time. There are protocol for preparation, okay? But it will be done. So if the patient said yes, what is your history? In one word, contraindication for the procedure, which is blood thinner, bleeding disorder, prolapse, you understand? Okay. Oh, I still have some time. Talk about the preparation for the procedure. Before the procedure, what are you going to do? During the procedure, what's going to happen? After the procedure, he shouldn't drive. He will be drowsy. He should watch out for any, uh, uh, you know, like if he's having any complication and someone should stay with him. All this is explained in the course. Yes. So, again, hi. Go and talk to this patient because he is gonna have colonoscopy. What is the start? One minute repo. After one minute repo, start with him. Talk about colonoscopy. No, I'm refusing. One, number two, address three risk for benefit. If he's happy, what's your history? Contraindication. And you you spoke about excluded. So before, during, after. What is before, during, after? The preparation. Before the procedure, what's going to happen? is going to be fasting for a few hours. Okay? 
and then we'll give you fluids, we'll prepare you, and during the procedure, what's gonna happen? We'll give you sedative, you, uh, numbing agent, you're gonna feel it after the procedure, watch out for this, watch out for that, which is written in the notes. But I'm just giving you a half a page to write down, and you know the rest. Online doctors, are you lost? No, doctor, no. No, no. Dr. Mo. Yes. Never, Dr. Mo. Uh, in the great, old doctor. course, in the old course, when there was, the, I was asked to uh, to talk with the patient about the discharge on warfarin. The, the consultant decided that he he will he will be discharged on warfarin. You told that we will have a rapport about the stay in the hospital. Then I will take history, uh, and during this history, I will check if he is uh, fit to be on warfarin. And uh, then, and at the last, I will talk with him about the warfarin. Should I talk with, about warfarin? Then I check if, if he is fit first, or I can take history. Then I will talk about. You know, uh, if you go back, if you go back, I have told you the history is before, during, after. You remember? Yes. But in the history of before, I said to you always in the history, will focus on the contraindication. In the history, you will focus in the contraindication for warfarin. The patient yes. will be prescribed, and in the history, you will explain the condition for which he's having warfarin and the benefits of warfarin and the risk of not having warfarin and situation. And that's it. You're not gonna take detail. And for example, the risk factor that will affect warfarin, like diet. Yeah, Let's talk about it. But not everything. In every station, you take in the risk factor and the contraindication, the complication for anything you are talking about. Focus history. Yes, so I can in this station, okay. uh, before, during, after, and take a uh, past history. Then talk about colonoscopy. No, no. When I say before, during, after, I mean before the colonoscopy, the preparation for colonoscopy. Pardon me. How would you prepare the patient? Okay. Okay. When I said, guys, guys, when I said before, during, after, when I said before is not full history, is how would I prepare him? Is he gonna be fasting? Is he gonna be on fluids? Laxative? Bowel preparation? That's the before. That's not history. Anyway, let's move on. Next station. Guys, is it clear? Guys, I, I, I think. I think we should move forward, guys. Yeah. Guys, can you mute your mic and let's move forward? And we have WhatsApp group. Wallahi, I always answer the questions there. We always answer. Me and Dr. Rami and the, the guys in the academy, the admins, we always answer it. So, please. Guys, when I said before, during, after, I meant not history, preparation. Before the procedure, do you want to do anything? Is the bowel uh, should have a stool or clean? Clean. During the procedure, what's going to happen? After the procedure, complication. Okay? Guys, uh, guys, are you okay? Seriously. Please, for you, because you are going for the exam, the most important thing for you, yeah, is how to code the history. Is not the is how to what you need for the station, okay? And by the way, this colonoscopy, okay? What about sigmoidoscopy? Does it go the same? Of course. What about endoscopy? Barrett Osophagus coming and is gonna have endoscopy. What about Ahmed Oscopy? Muhammad Oscopy? Same. It's all the same. Muhammad, the patient refusing Ahmed Oscopy. Why you can refuse risk benefit? The patient accepted Ahmed Oscopy. Ahmed Oskubi is accepted, yes, so talk to about the contraindication. There is no contraindication, say, and he's happy, then we can go further and we talk about, would you like me to tell you about what's going to happen that day of the procedure? Before Ahmed Oskubi, we're going to do that. During Ahmed Oskubi, we're going to do, you understand? It's the same structure with everything. But we have to obviously give a station and then apply. Next station, one of the academy doctors, guys, come out. Just give me one moment. One moment, guys. Uh, 
So, guys, so we have discussed, guys, a patient who's angry. Yeah, don't forget, I live in. How, how the distance, standing up, down, voice, <clears throat> acknowledge, reflect, listen, reflect all the time, praise, apology. We spoke about refusing, refusing anything. Okay? Anybody wants to come out? Anybody wants to come out from the academy doctors? Dr. Sabrina, come. Yes, uh, did you did you come before? Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, Doctor Hamza, did you come before for anything in the academy? Did you come out at any time? Doctor. He wants to come. Did, who? Him? Yeah. He came once as well. <laughs> the victims will be only once. Okay, Doctor Fahad, did you come before? Come, Doctor Fahad. Online doctors, is everybody following? Yes, 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 yes. 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 We have here Dr. Yes. Fast. Where are you from? India. India, which part of India? Uh, near Delhi. Near, okay. Ask me how much you know about India. <laughs> Assist my knowledge. <laughs> Brother, we are teaching you flab here. Which part in India? How much you know about India? You ask me. Then, okay. So, Dr. Fast from India. We're going to give him a station now. Forget about refusal. Let's move somewhere else. Let's move somewhere else. I will discuss a station, a situation that happened with me personally, okay? So Dr. Fahd, now we finish the refusal, we finish the angry patient, we're gonna have another station, a new topic, yeah? Dr. Amar Sobki. I'm here, I'm here, I'm ready. I will start on hello. This is like Egyptian humor, so don't get me wrong. This is Egyptian kind of, okay? So, Dr. Amr will have eight minutes. The question is very easy. Very easy. 32 years old, Mo Sobhi has a concern. <laughs> so, okay. Okay, I will tell you exactly. I will tell you exactly what happened. Okay, I will simulate it exactly as of what. Let's start. This is me. Yeah? Sorry, guys. This is how it happened. Seriously. As if this is the bed, hospital bed. Hostel bed. I will pretend as this is the hostel bed, and this is what's gonna happen. Okay, start. Start the station, Mosobhi, and you come into Mosobhi. Yes, I'm on the bed now. I'm where? In the bed now, yeah? <laughs> yes, let's start. Hello, this is Dr. Fahad, and one of the doctors here. Is. Um, can you please confirm your age, name and age for me? Mo Sobhi, 32 years old. Okay, nice to meet you, Mo. Um, I see from my notes you're here for certain concerns. So can we talk about it? Sorry, guys, we're gonna modify something. Sorry, so slow. We're gonna stop. We're gonna modify something, yeah? So to just make the eight minutes enough for the station, yeah? He was brought by the ambulance. He was brought by the ambulance. The ambulance. His blood sugar was two in the ambulance. His blood sugar was two in, two in the ambulance. He was unconscious and now he's conscious. This is the one line, okay? So we fail with him with timing and time management and everything, okay? So I'm in the bed now in the, in the cubicle and he came in in the cubicle, yeah? Do you want to add anything else? Are you no, blood sugar no, too? Dr. Amar Sofki, can you repeat the timing again? Of course, doctor. Yes, sorry guys. This I'm not making it in your phone. I'm, I'm telling you because that was the situation. The patient was lying in bed. He was not sitting on a chair. He was lying in bed. Seriously, let's start the ultimate exactly. Okay. Uh, hello, this is Dr. Fahad. I'm one of the doctors here. Um, can you please confirm your name and age for me? Mo Sobhi, 32 years old. Okay. Uh, Mo, I see from my notes that you know you've been through a lot. How are you feeling now? I don't go home. 
okay i i see um, this is a very concerning situation for you and we'll definitely let you go home but i just want to make sure everything's fine is that okay i want to go home okay i'll definitely let you go uh, home but just let me make sure everything's fine can you tell me what happened i mean how, how are you feeling now i want to go home all right um i'll arrange for that now but just let me make sure that you're doing okay can we proceed now okay uh, can you tell me how you feeling now you you look a bit distressed i want to go home okay um, um can you tell me where are you now mo i'm in the hospital okay. i am in liverpool hospital mm -hmm. yes all right and what's your full name my name is mo subhi i'm 32 years old doctor why you are asking me these stupid questions am i stupid are you deal with me as a crazy person or not am i crazy doctor I can see you've been through a lot more, uh, and uh, I might have some more questions wrong. But I just wanted to make sure that you're feeling fine and completely, you know. Uh, so that's why I ask you these questions. Uh, you, you, you look a bit distressed. Is something bothering you? I don't go home. Um, can I ask you why do you? Guys, too late. Why? why? Guys, I'm sorry to come across that way. I'm not. It's fine. I'm, I'm happy. I'm... Guys, I'm not really. Guys, please, I'm not angry at him or anything. I'm just interacting, so you know. Why? Simple word of three letters. If he's sitting there, he will say, "This is stupid guy, say why, say what." And then when you come out, you understand. He will be frustrated if he's sitting there. Ya yeah, brother, ask why. Ya yeah, brother, haram, haram, ask why. But when he comes, him and anyone, I'm saying I don't. I want to go home. And let's have a chat. I wanna go home. Let's talk. I wanna go home. Let's talk. You know, you wasted your three minutes or two minutes wasted. Okay? Please. Yeah. Uh, can we know why you do why do you want to go back home? Well, I have a wedding plan. I cannot stay in the hospital. I see it's very really important for you. It's my wedding. I mean, congratulations on <laughs> getting married. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'm really happy for you. Man. Thank you. I want you to understand that uh, you know it's very important for us to make sure we're healthy. Okay, but I want to plan my wedding. Nobody, I don't have anybody to plan the wedding, and I want to go home to plan my wedding. If I don't go home, yeah. nobody will plan it for me. Okay. I'm going to somehow try to use somebody to help you out with the planning and all. That's fine. Well, <sighs> nobody knows. I'm the one who will take everything. Is that please uh, your mic? You need to be. Uh, I mean, your health is your uh, our first priority, and if you're healthy, you definitely you know, we can plan for your wedding. But if you're not feeling fine, and no, you just can give me medication. Let me go home. Okay. Uh, we'll try to arrange for that more. But for doing that, I want to make sure that you you know we don't have to keep you here in the hospital. We have to make sure you're healthy, right? I'll go home. Okay. Um. You know, I see from my notes that your blood sugar was really low. And in this situation, it's really not advisable for you to go home. And Why? Why? Uh, I want to go home. You see, your Get, my blood sugar is low. Give me some sugar and let me go. I wish we could do that, but we need to keep you here for monitoring, for monitoring your blood sugar regularly. And what if it happens again? I mean, you were unconscious when you. you came if it happens home. again, I will be then with my partner. My partner will bring him. <clears throat> but you wouldn't want to go through all that, right? Can you just give us some time? I mean, we'll make sure you're fine and you don't have to come back. I want to go home. So what? My blood sugar is low. Give me some sugar and let me go home. Uh, so about that, Mo, um, you know, it's it's not that simple. We need to keep you here. We need to monitor for why why it is happening. We need to make sure it does not happen again. We need to solve the cause. I want to go home. <laughs> uh, I see this is very important for you. And we'll definitely arrange for that. Uh, but just can I make sure everything's fine with you? No, I want to go home. All right. Um, okay, I'll try speaking to my senior. And okay, guys, risk and benefit. What is the risk of sending hypoglycemia home? What is the risk? Death, 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 death. death. life threatening. Mention it. Okay, what is the benefit of keeping me here? Giving me, no, 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 giving me fluids through my veins and glucose, which will not be done at home. Benefits clearly. When you say benefits and risk, medically as well. So what is the risk of sending somebody's blood sugar to home? 
life. Guys, please, when you tell the patient the risk, say the real risk, don't be scared. If the risk is dead, say. So what he said, risk and benefit for me wouldn't scare me. Is not, did he mention life-threatening? But is it life-threatening? Am I lying? You know what's gonna happen? If you, you know what? You know why you should mention the risk clearly? Why you should mention the risk clearly? Yeah. But why, why should you mention it clearly? I mean, you mention it clearly means if it's a death, say death. Mental capacity and why else? Imagine if you don't tell me life threatening. Imagine if you don't tell me. And I don't know, It's like, as far as I'm concerned, it's not life threatening. I go home and die. When I'm dying, I'm gonna say, I wish you don't want this bastard. You understand? I will regret it. When I'm dying, when I die, I will regret it. So my point is, the risk should be mentioned. Don't be scared. Well, I'm gonna be upsetting the patient if I tell him that. Are you lying? You're not lying. So guys, can you see? I have shifted your brain somewhere else. I said to you, now we're gonna discuss another topic. And I give him refusal. <laughs> you understand? So now another topic, but I give him refusal again. And he couldn't say why. Wallahi, wallahi, wallahi. Only us will approach this patient like this. Like this. Wallahi, only us. That's why I'm reassured. Because even though I said it, I shouted, I was angry, I had a tension headache, he still come and he still did not say it. You get me? It's good. It's good that you did it now because that means whenever you go, I want to go home. Definitely, you have the right to accept or reject. However, may I ask why? Guys, early. Why early? You want to start early. You want to address why early? Risk early, benefit early, management early. So now when you say why, I said to you my wedding. Congratulations, perfect. He reflected. Well, anybody... When I said to him, I want someone to plan my wedding, he started solving the problem through anybody can help you with that, anybody. Then I said, no, then go to the risk and benefit, but clearly risk of life threatening. Like, you understand? Mm -hmm. Risk, risk, life threatening. Benefit is keeping you in the hospital to give you flows that you need, injections that you need, which should be only done in the hospital. Mm -hmm. Then if I accept, if I how would you carry on? Diabetes. Diabetes, diabetes only. Diabetes only, I can see about sugar is too. Are you diabetic? Yes, doctor, I'm diabetic. So only diabetic question. So what are the diabetic questions? Since when? Medication are you on? Do you use it regularly? As it was prescribed? Do you do your follow up? And then ask the question for complication. Chest pain. Pain while passing urine. Yeah? Any kidney problem that, that you know, numbness or tingling your hand and feet, problem in vision, and that's it. And then move on to data, and your problem is sorted. So, you must ask in this station the causes of hypoglycemia. If a patient is having low sugar, think about it, forget about medicine, forget about medicine. My sugar is low, I'm diabetic with medication. My sugar is low. Why could it be low? Either too much medication. Too much insulin, <laughs> or taking the medication and no food, or fasting. So you need to ask about the causes. That's it. So diabetic question plus causes of hypoglycemia, and then move on to management. Admit fluid through your veins, the glucose through your veins, and safety net about hypoglycemia, which means educate him about. You all know from my course. If you did watch my course, the most important part in management of hypoglycemia is educate. Some doctors now from December group they are setting saying oh he went somewhere else now don't worry guys it's in the course refusal structure go on the refusal uh, video you will see the refusal patient who's hypoglycemic admitted so watch the refusal video and it's in the notes in the refusal patient don't worry but my point is as you can see an example of dr fah which is don't worry don't worry stress can make anything but you see that's why i said practice 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 always refuse refuse Oxen Billah, Wallahi, one station refuse. And Wallahi, remember this from me. Wallahi, two out of ten will approach. Why? Do you know what will happen? Do you know the benefits? If you don't believe me, practice with anyone. Go and practice. Go. Give anyone 
Well, no, I don't want this. And see how they will. They will react like Dr. Fah. They are going with history. And I'm saying what? But please, some question. No, what? I don't want I want to go home. But please, anything. I want to go home. So, so basically, what I said, address the patient. Address the patient. Online doctors, address the patient what? Address yeah. the patient what? Yeah. So what is my main concern? What is my main concern? What is my main concern no now? Concern. Go, home. go home. What is my concern? I want to go home. Address it. Once it's addressed, the station is yours. That's it. Start. And when you start, you know, do you know why would you why would you give me blood sugar too? To tell me a yeah, brother. Yeah, brother. Brother, it is diagnosed. It is what? They wouldn't give me refusing a new station. Why would they give me blood sugar 2? This station is all over your scripts, yeah? Why would they say blood sugar 2? Everything for a reason. They tell me blood sugar 2 to tell me, we are telling you the condition so you are able to talk about risk and benefit before you... History, they understand. Because in this station, to convince him to stay, you have to talk about risk and, but how would you talk about risk and benefit without knowing that condition, without knowing that? They give you the condition and the question. Do you understand guys how blood work? That's why you should not take blood, blood sugars too. You only take history about the diabetic question and the reason why a patient could have hypoglycemia. hypoglycemia. Because the causes, the reason why he will have hypoglycemia will be the reason why you will address it in. Brother, you remember he took insulin without eating? You should eat before you take insulin, brother. So management is not just the medical part. It's making sure he's okay. It's preventing it from happening. By asking about the cause, what are the causes of hypoglycemia? Too much medication. Too low food. Fasting, exercise too much, and that's it. Guys, do you benefit anything? Yes. I'm I'm not here to teach you like paper or high buy, high buy, high buy, move on high. No, I'm telling you how to approach and how to quote and how to approach him to refusing. If he's refusing, you address this concern, how to address the refusal structure, okay? Mm -hmm. But I correct you. <laughs> okay, we finished the refusal, we finished the refusal. So he said to himself, that's it, there is no why, there is no risk benefit. That's it, he forgot about it. So he came for something else. Next, next, next doctor will be by the way it's a very important station it's not i did not make it up yeah it's not a handy made station okay okay so i will pick a doctor for a station doctor asma swasi doctor asma swasi I'm short of breath now. <laughs> Seriously, I'm short of breath. Guys, I'm sorry. After finishing the session, some doctors they tend to come and ask me, and then I say, oh, "Guys, I'm, I really cannot talk. It's not that uh, out of me being rude." But seriously, during the session you are active, but after the session, well, no, 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 not done. I have heart racing, <laughs> head tension, headache, well, tension, headache, shortness of breath. Everything comes right after you finish because you feel it when the adrenaline is gone. Then you start having the symptoms. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's why I, I let you after the session. I just like seriously, I feel tired. I feel tired after the session. Just like the look. Sorry, just, just like day. yes, like the mock yesterday. The mock yesterday was. Uh, go back and... That's it. Seriously, it's like okay, guys. I will pick one doctor. Asma Suesi, is she here or not? Sorry, noise. Okay, she can. We'll pick someone else. We'll pick someone else. Uh, Doctor. Dr. Anjana, is that our Anjana? Is our Anjana online as well? or? Yes, I am. Anjana Razik, right? Is that uh, Dr. Anjana from the academy? She's here. She's here because I have Anjana here. Is there Anjana as well, yeah? How are you, Anjana? Why you? Good is coming, not from your heart. 
God is not coming from your heart. She looks very exhausted. I'm good, doctor. Are you okay? You sure? Okay. So, Dr. Anjana, where are you from? I'm from India. India? Okay. We, we have chosen an Indian doctor here, so I, I, I always like to, you know, diversity. So, no offense. Can I choose somebody else, doctor? <laughs> yeah, sure. No, 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 seriously. Guys, guys, no, 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 seriously. No, 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 I don't really mean anything with it. What I mean is, if I'm going to pick four doctors, seriously, one has to be Indian, for example. One has to be Pakistan, one has to be Egyptian, one has to be Bangladesh. Do you agree with me? Not as an offense to anyone. I always like to pick different background, different doctors, different, you know? Sorry? Oh my God, yes. One sixth of the world is Indian. Yes. How, how many Indian? The, the number? <laughs> Seriously, how many? 1.2 billion? Dr. Anjana, let's start. <laughs> Dr. Anjana, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> the number, the equation, and stuff says yes. So, you know, if we're going to pick one, 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 so three Indians, yes. Dr. Anjana, let's start. I didn't know that, brother. So let's it's open the academy in India. Billion, Dr. Dr. Hamza, after the first exam, we're going to open an academy in India. You're going to help me. You're going to arrange everything there, and I'll come over. We're going to have a one batch in India, face to face That'll course be in good. India, okay? Sorry? That will be wonderful. Yes, yes, I arranged Dr. Hamdi from India. He's the ambassador of India. That we're gonna, you know, he's gonna arrange everything there and then we can make a batch in India. And then. Uh, <laughs> 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 Sorry? Sorry? Master, Egypt. Master. Egypt, I'm actually planning. <laughs> no, no, I'm planning. I'm in the process of, I'm in the process of a place in Egypt. I'm not, it's in the process now, like, so we are looking for a place in Cairo, in order to have mannequins there, yeah, seriously, in order to have mannequins there, but I'm afraid it will be only mannequins and stuff, but the sessions, they will do the practice before they come to UK, and then in UK, they come to the academy, and I will also uh, make the sessions that we do here in the academy, like the same man examination, online, in the place, not outside, so if you want to attend, you can go to the place and watch on the screen, and you have your mannequins, it's in the process now, anyway. So, Dr. Anjana, let's go back again. Dr. Anjana, is you, because it's 1.2 billion Indians. So let's let's start. Guys, I will talk sure. about very important, very important thing in pediatric. Pediatric, many doctors they abuse the structure. They what? Abuse it. By abuse it means they ask you everything in every station. And then they finish history at eight minutes. So I will give an example of, we all know the structure for pediatric, yeah? P1, P2, BIRD, triple D, mass. Clear. We know P1, P2, and BIRD. B-I-R-D for the, you know, the, the BIRD and immunization. And do we know that D for development? And triple D for diet and dehydration and the NAI. And do you know MAF? However, if a, if a station is medicine, is what? Medicine, beautiful. The structure is beautiful as a medicine. But Dr. Anjana, write down the question for this station. Do you know that uh, I enjoy the online sessions? I enjoy having you online, having you here, guys. Seriously, I can say till the morning. I don't care. Let's start, Dr. Anjana. Write down. The baby is That noise with you, Dr. Anjana? Yeah, I'm panicking a bit, to be honest. Is that your noise? I thought it's a noise in the panicking. Why? Uh, it's the first time I'm actually presenting, and it's just a few weeks since Dr. I started Anjana, preparing. Dr. Anjana, you will do good. I'm not worried about you. You will do good. 
دكتور امجانا دكتور مو الاسيسينيتي سوري دكتور مو الاسيسينيتي Oh, oh my god, Dr. Ajana, let's do it. Write down, write down, very good question. Ashwarya Roy? Did you see here a picture on Google? Did you see? Ashwarya Roy. <laughs> So Ashwarya Roy is the mother of Ali Roy. Okay, she is coming to the GP with a concern. Ali Roy is 14 months old. I'm sure these names are confusing. Ali Roy, Ahmed Roy, Ashwarya. Confusing. Yeah, Indian Egyptian. Yes, I mean very nice mix. Brother, 1.2 billion, brother. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> One sixth of the world. Okay. So, yes, doctor. Dr. Anjana, I'm ready when you're ready. Yeah, sure, I'm ready. Dr. Omar Sobki. I'm here, doctor. I will start at hello. Yeah. Okay. Hi, I'm Dr. Anjana, one of the junior doctors in the GP here. Uh, am I speaking to Aishwarya? I'm Ashwarya, doctor. Yes, Ashwarya Roy. I'm coming okay. because of my son, Ali Roy. He's 14 months old. Yeah, right. Uh, I can see from your notes that you have a concern to discuss. May I know how I can help you today? Well, doctor, um, it's just my son. He is quite like concerning me that he's not woken properly. Okay. All right. We'll come to that. So when you say walking not properly, uh, means um, is he able to uh, stand up? Yes, he's able, but with help. All right. And um, he's not able to walk at all with support. Is he when you're trying to? Well, doctor. Uh, I mean. At the moment, he doesn't walk, but he supports himself to stand, but he doesn't walk. Okay, fine. Uh, okay, I understand your concern. Uh, I would like to ask a few questions uh, before we uh, discuss this further, if you don't mind. Okay, all right. Okay, uh, can you tell me uh, how was Ali's birth? Was it normal? Well, Ali's birth was normal. There was no issue with his birth. Please listen to the station, how the history will be. Yes. Okay. Even uh, uh, even before birth, you didn't have complications? or, or and after no, birth? no, no, no. There was no problem. Okay. Was Ali diagnosed of any medical condition soon after birth? or? No, 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 no medical conditions. So he was a normal child? Yes, normal okay. child. Okay. <laughs> I mean, in the sense, he doesn't have any other uh, any other medical problems, yeah? Oh, sorry. I thought maybe he's abnormal. He can have extra. <laughs> no, okay. I didn't mean that. I'm sorry about that. Okay. okay. Uh, how was how is this immunization up to date? He has taken all his jabs. Well, up to date immunization, no issues. Yes, he just okay, had his was... MMR vaccine. Okay. Okay. That was the last vaccine he took. Yes. Yes. Okay. And you maintaining the red book? Yeah. 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 I have the red book. Yeah, okay. everything is fine. No issues, no concerns. Okay, and how is his diet? What does he What does he eat? Well, now I give him like you know uh, some food from what we eat, and you know some soft food, and we give him you know some rice. His feeding is good, and we started. I give I breastfed him as well when he was you know, and now we started and giving his... him into reasonable stuff. Okay, excellent. And his weight is normal. He's gaining. Yeah, weight. yeah, his weight is normal. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Okay, so um, since birth, uh, can you tell me how was his um, like uh, milestones? Like what by by that milestones? Mean, did, yeah. What do you by mean by that, milestones, doctor? <laughs> okay, by that what we mean is um, was he able to? At what age did he sit? 
Well, he was sitting at um, about, I think, six months, seven months. Okay. And do you recall at what age he was able to stand on his own? Well, it was about 12 months. Okay. And you said he's able to walk with support, yeah? Yes. All right. Uh, fine. Uh, does he have any, uh, any um, allergies? No allergies, no. No, okay, is he delayed. is he in the? Uh, is anybody? Yes. Is this your first child? Yes, yes, he's my first child. Yes. Okay, okay. Does anybody in your family have any other medical condition or? No, everybody's fit and well. Okay. Um. All right. So, uh, who who's there in the home who's there at home other than you and uh, your child me and his dad okay and everything is fine yeah perfect okay all right uh Aishwarya, from what i can see here he's 14 months old okay yes. and he is able to walk with support okay yes the yes the usual age for a child to be able yes. to walk without support is around yes. 16 months. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. So I, I believe he's doing fine. Yes. Okay. So there's no issue with him. You mean he's fine? Yes. I, I from what we have uh, seen and what we have discussed, I believe he's perfectly fine. Uh, you might probably yes. be seeing some kids walking at at this age, maybe his friends. Is that your concern? Uh, no, I'm, I'm concerned that I read online that, that he should walk by this age, but I don't know. Um, well, not really. Uh, all kids are not the same, okay? A okay. few kids okay. might uh, walk a bit a few months earlier. Some of them might take one or two months uh, more. But from okay. what what we have assessed, he's he's perfectly fine, and uh, you know he's attaining all his um, you know his development is normal and is on time, and he is he okay. is doing fine, absolutely. Okay. Um, so there is so no issue with him remaining. Uh, I there is no, nothing to be worried about. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, we will Thank do a follow up. Much. We will do a yeah. follow up uh, in uh, a few weeks' time. We'll arrange for a follow up, and if okay. you have any any concerns, we can address it accordingly. Okay. Okay. That sounds like a plan. Okay. Okay. Are you happy about it? Very happy. Yeah. Uh, I would just like to do uh, an examination, if you don't mind, of the child. Okay, examination. I, I thought I thought she gave me the follow up appointment. Did you see, guys? She gave me follow up, and that's it. Without even looking at beautiful blood to doctors, <laughs> beautiful NHS doctors coming to the NHS to destroy. <laughs> you know, Doctor Anjana, I'm only joking, yeah. I'm only joking. Yeah, I'm only joking. I... Guys, I, I love joking, yeah. So. Yeah. Why? Because she knows, she knows that this is reassurance. <laughs> it's reassurance. For two months, uh, I have this. I know the station. For two months, no problem. <laughs> then, can I examine the child? Bruises around his knees. You know, bruises on his buttocks. Cigarette uh, burn on his back. You know, and then mm. gone. You understand, guys? Yes. The child is malnourished. Malnourished is any eye, by the way. She could examine him and see that he's he looks malnourished and not clean clothes. New station. <laughs> Seriously, I'm serious. Mm -hmm. I'm serious. New station. New station. She's thinking, okay, for two months he can he can walk beautiful without even looking at him. Without even looking at him, maybe he's having infection in his knees, for example. Do you understand me, guys? Am I making mm -hmm. sense or I'm making things like? Verbalize examination. Do you agree with Dr. Anjana? Yeah, I totally agree. I, I as you I said, I was biased. I'm, I'm the bad guy. Everybody on the chat box, well done, perfect. Ignore him. You are very good. 
well done, well done. And the answer is down, he's spoken like, why did you not look at the child? Why did you know? Yes, it's the assurance case. Yes, the GMC, you know, give us cases and do, we, we have to be safe. We have to take history. We have to make sure the, fish, the, the child is okay. We have to verbalize examination. Okay, now, my point is, why the reason why I give this case in pediatric. Pediatric structure, P1, P2, bird triple D, mass. What is P1? Presenting complaint. What is P1? So any mother bringing the child explore the presenting complaint. After you explore the presenting complaint, anything else? Yes, doctor, this explore. Then P2, past history of any medical condition. Then past history of presenting complaint. I'm showing you the structure. I'm recapping quickly. But to give you the message that's coming now. Bird, B for bird. What is the most important question in bird? No. Is it full term or free term? Very important question. I, immunization, after the immunization. R, red book, D, development. The development, if the station is medicine, if the station is medicine, uh, ear pain, uh, you know, the development is just one question. Are you happy with his development? And that's it. One question. I move on to the rebel D and finish the station. Okay. And P1 presenting complaint. After the presenting complaint, before we move to B2, head to toe. What is head to toe? These are the differential. So what is my differential in pediatric? Easy. What is differential? Yeah. So in pediatric, my differentials are, don't forget this ever. In pediatric, so my differentials are head to toe. So my point is, if a patient is coming, pediatric is coming, the differentials are easy. Ask your head to toe quickly. Any head injuries, any discharge from the nose, from the ears from the eye and then go down any you know quickly however i am here to discuss and how many questions in development one but if the station started with development how to use the structure the station started from the bird development she said delayed walking is that development or what development so she started the complaint but from bird d and bird guys here I will bring the development early. Explore in details. Ask about the milestones. Apart from this, is he fit and well? Yes, doctor, that's the medicine of it. That's it. Again, if the presented medicine, one well, autoimmune medicine, discharge, ear, fever, headache, whatever, pain anywhere, what is the structure? Explore P1, head to toe, P2, P3, sorry, P2, bed. Math in bird, how many question development? One question. Are you happy with this development? Yes. But this station's delayed walking, delayed talking. When do you start the station, they say he's not walking properly. So now, what is my presenting complaint? Not walking properly. So my structure will be explore the walking. I will tell you now how. Then is it Head to toe? Head to toe? No head to toe here anymore. Milestones. So I will explore the problem. I will ask about the milestones. Okay, Dr. Moba, what about the head to toe? No, head to toe, no. You're not gonna ask head to toe. You will ask one question, is he generally fit and well? That's it, done. Then you will go to P2, has he have any medical issues before then bird what is the most important question in bird b is what b is what is bird is what premature full term and then immunization then red book then terrible d because you already asked about d anyway i will just write it down here i will write it down here because i'm i'm sure that it's important for you to know Okay, with the marker, with this. Okay, guys. Okay, medicine. What do I mean by medicine? Medicine. Discharge, fever, rash. What is the structure? P1. Explore. Okay. 
Bir So we're not able to hear anything. Could you, could you please, anyone, could turn his uh, camera on and uh, just wave to him so at least we could see? So I can't hear. There's no sound. There's no sound. We can't hear you. We can't hear you. Uh, once I, I will tell him one second. Doctor, please open your mic. I think. Can anyone like um, of the guys um, open the camera and wave for him or something? Sorry. Oh, doctor, you were muted. We didn't hear anything. We didn't hear a single. Okay, what is the last thing you heard? We missed everything. Uh, we missed everything. Uh, what is the last thing you heard? Okay, so if the station is medicine, if the, I will start now. If the station is medicine, is medicine, my structure is P1, complain, head to toe, then P2, bird, triple D. In bird, D for development, how many questions? One question. Any problem with his development? No, doctor. But if the station is developmental delay, delayed walking, delayed talking, so P1 will be delayed walking. But right after P1, not head to toe anymore. Milestones right away. After that P2, after that bird, the triple D. And Dr. Mo, what is the head to toe questions? The head to toe questions will be only one question. Is he generally fit and well? So if the station is medicine, Head to toe in details. Development, one question. Any problem with development? If the station is development, so you will start to be one developmental delay problem. Then milestones and it's still head to toe. Then you will go be two bear to triple D. But what is the head to toe question? One question. So, one last time. The station is medicine. Fever, rash, discharge, from the nose, tummy pain, P1, explore, complain, head to toe, P2, bird, triple D, and in bird, D, one question, development. No, 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 the station is development, delayed walking. So P1 is delayed walking, explore, then in instead of the head to toe, milestones the question right away. That's why you will quote the history. So milestones, and that's it. After milestones, P2, bird, triple D. No medicine here, no medicine, just is he fit and well. Then verbalize examination in both. Then if the station is delayed walking or delayed talking before 18 months, reassure again. If the station is delayed walking or 
great token before 18 months what to do yeah. and give follow up after 18 months then problem but it will come 14 months but do you need to verbal examination yeah. you must you must the milestones in an easy way the milestones in an easy way how to memorize the, memory, the milestones in a very easy way how how look at me i'm the child okay i am the child my neck then my buttocks then my legs yeah okay so i will divide the milestones online doctors are you lost Oh, never no, so we are able to hear so, you. So do you know now if you have a station, delay it walking or delay it talking. Dr. Anihal, what is B1? Uh delayed walking or delay talking? Delayed walking, exploring. <laughs> After exploring the delayed walking, should you ask ahead to talk or should you go for milestones? Ask one question. Milestones. Milestones first. Milestones. After the milestones, I will go for P2, there the triple D. Dr. Mo, no head to toe, no head to toe. Just one question. Is he fit and well? But if the station is medicine, is medicine, okay? And bear in mind that if he's delayed walking, yes, you will do ask about diet, maybe a deficiency in diet causes. You will ask about family history in math, yeah? Don't forget, bear the triple D math, if for family history, any bone problem, you know? Okay. Anyway, so in the milestones, the gross and fine, gross and fine motor, gross motor and fine. that's it. So on the milestone, take two hours, gross and fine. Look at me because that's what you're gonna remember in the exam. That's what you will remember in the exam. Look at me now. Look at me. Neck, botox. No, 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 not three months yet. Neck, botox, legs. Can you see again? Neck, botox, and legs. Neck, buttocks, legs. That's the gross. I'm talking about that. Gross now. Neck, three months support neck. Three months. Guys, look, look, look. The timing phase. Three, six and nine, six and nine, one, two, three. Again, three. I'm going up, going down. Yeah, up, going down. Three months, six and nine. One, I'll tell you, six and nine months. One, two, three years. Again. Three what? Three what? Month. Look at that. That child. Three months. Then six or nine month. Then one to three years. Three months support neck. Six or nine month. Six month sitting go support. Nine month sitting go down. One two three. One two three. One is start walking. Two up and down the stairs. Three tricycle. Can you see three? Try cycle. So, and in order, walking first at one year. Look, why did I say one to three legs? Because they will all be done by the legs. All will be done by no? one to three legs. One walking, two up and down the stairs, three try cycle. Three is what? Try. Three try. So, again, this is the child. Milestones, the gross and gross and the gross. Look at me. One, two, three. So what this one is three months next six and nine six is sitting without nine sorry six is sitting with support nine is sitting without then one two three years old one two three years old one year old walking two years old two years old up and down the stair up down three try cycle clear clear are you lost this is the easiest way I can explain the gross. <laughs> Up and down, neck, buttock legs, neck, buttock legs, neck three months, buttock six or nine months, six with support, nine without. Then legs, neck, buttock legs, legs one, two, three, one walking, two up, down, up, down, two up, down, three, done. You okay? She's looking at me like. What is that crazy man? <laughs> so, online doctors, are you ready? Are you right? Yes, doctor, always. Yes, doctor, we're following. So, now the fine development, the fine motor, the fine development, yeah? Guys, the fine development. Look at that. Look at that. The 
the fine development. The fine is going to be two years, three years, four years, five years. That's it. Two years, three years, four years, five years. Two years, three years, four years, five years. Look at that. Two years, two years. Bottom and bottom. Bottom and bottom. Look. Three years. Three years. Holding the pen with thumb. Oh, look. I said, what are the years? Two, three, four, five. Two is one thing. Three and four, five, one thing. Easy. Two is one. Three, four, five is one. You're not going to know everything about the fine. You need to just one question each to make sure that. So two years old is one thing. What is that? Bottom and bottom. Three and the four and five related to pen. Related to pen. Three is holding the pen with the thumb and the index. Four, like an adult. Like an adult. Five, writing down. Five, five is writing, printing his own name. Class, done. So again, two years old this. Bottom and bottom. Three, four, five. Three, four, five, little to pen. Three. Four. Five. That's it. Milestones. If he's less than 18, reassure. But make sure you verbalize examination. If he's less than 18, walk, talking, say, he's not talking. Explore. After explore talking, milestones. After the milestones, no, that shouldn't be early. After milestones, P2 bear the triple D math, math, family history, and you know, and then examine them. Sure. Read the notes, everything is there. I'm just trying here to guys. Thank you very much. I'm really I'm sorry. Well, I started actually like sweating. That's the end. I think I was like, you know, guys, uh, thank you very much. Just uh, I hope it was good recap, quick recap. Okay, online doctors, thank you very much. I love you all. Thanks, Thank you, Dr. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so we much, Dr. Well, I love you. I love you all, you know. The session Thank is recorded, and it will be added Thank to you, the mocks in the new course. I will add all these sessions under the word the mocks. They are not sessions. If you want to watch them, watch them. If you don't want, don't watch, okay? Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you, Have a lovely night. Thank you, sir. Have a lovely night. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you.